So we're taking a look at the art of Mobius. Mobius is a quite talented artist who worked on some projects such as Willow and Alien and Dune, and his style of art has influenced all sorts of other artists. So even if you haven't heard of no Mobius, you've probably seen art either made by Mobius or influenced by. So let's take a look at some of the works. There's a bit of a introduction. Talking about all the different things that they have worked on. So then you can see it's a very illustrative style. And that one has rich saturation, but some of them have almost a minimalistic kind of feel, or even a stained glass kind of feel. I love the rich saturation of colors there, or the way that items are drawn down to their minimal sketch kinds of aspects. You can see even in black and white, the use of values and uh, draws your eye into different scenes. And just like this, you know, it, on one hand, it's fairly simple. There aren't a lot of details of fabric folds or that kind of stuff, but you really get a clear sense of the emotion in the face. You know, the use of colors, the sense of motion. And I love this kind of thing where you have a basic view. I'll wait for the sirens to go past. All right, so uh, uh, I like when they offer the beginning sketch and then the middle layers and then show you where it finally ended up to help you see the thought process. And even in the beginning sketch, you have this great pose and the way your eyes being drawn in even before any of the colors or anything else are added in. It shows the power of a good composition, which then color just adds to after that. So I love the details in here. It's, it's sort of like an urban sketch, an urban sketch, but for a spaceship port. <laughs> and the guy running because he's late, and then the workers getting their final checks ready, people on the bridge getting themselves ready, just all sorts of little details. And the same thing here, you get this sense of their faces and their emotions. These are almost like stained glass images. I love the simplicity of them, but then even so, you get a sense of emotion and the little cat watching it. <laughs> Some cute little sketches. The creatures coming out of the billboard. And he does offer some descriptions in here. You know, that this one was done very quickly for an art exhibit in Italy. Um, he drew the original drawing in black and white, and the colors were added in mechanically, and there's a light of light emanating from it. So I like that there are musings on how these pieces were created and give you some insight into what the artist was after and how they put it forward. I appreciate that they have details about you know, where it was going for, but I would like more technical details about what kind of medium he was using and that sort of thing. But I know not all artists want to share those kinds of details. So like, for example, in this one, he says, I had no special interest in architecture before I discovered Windsor McKay. In fact, at first I was scared of architectural designs because of their difficulty. And then, you know, we go back to that spaceship port I was talking about, which is mostly architecture. And he did just an amazing job with it, or even here, the way that the light areas glow against the purpler areas. So I suppose it goes to show that we should all push out of our comfort zones and try new things and just practice at them. So in this one, he says that uh, they were drawn in pencil, then photocopied, then watercolored over the photocopies. Just lovely colors.
like I really love the colors in this and how translucent the crystals are against the night sky and then the characters coming up here. And then the comparison of the black and white line version with the colored inversion. And then the sketches. Yeah, I really like having sketch versions of things and then being able to look at later versions of things. Very lovely. I enjoy monochrome works. So, for example, he says, I drew this in my hotel room while I was in Tokyo working on Nemo. It is the translation of a feeling that I experienced while I was in Japan. So, I like the insight into why he drew something. All right, so he says, uh, It's difficult to give any advice to aspiring artists. There are so many things one should say. It's difficult to be brief. Every artist is different, and good advice for one artist is bad for another. My best advice would be, be what you must be and do your best. Anything more precise, more specific cannot apply because everyone is too different. So I think that's pretty wise. And then there's a lot of detail work in here. Just to imagine having to create all of those little details and get them to integrate into the image. Like this, the, the use of just black and white and give that emotion in the face. These are all self-portraits. There's enormous amounts of detail in this with all of the characters, and they each have different emotions on their face, their expressions, and doing different things, eating things, or talking to each other, or being carried through. So, just a lot to look at. He says, this is one of my favorite drawings. I like it very much because it embodies something I feel about California. of images. You can see some of the different styles that Mobius has. I like the black and white ones because it really shows the mastery of uh, value and composition. But I also love the color ones because I enjoy the use of color. Like these. These are just so amazing. Right, so well worth taking a look at. As it says in here, his contributions to the films Alien, Tron, and Willow were instrumental in their design, and his work heavily influenced the appearance of the film Blade Runner, which is one of my favorite movies, which has its issues, but <laughs> you know, so does everything. All right, so this is the art of Mobius. I definitely, definitely recommend taking a look because it then influenced so many other things in our current world of art.